Former Vice President Joe Biden has touted his position in South Carolina since the launch of his campaign, and Saturday he proved it. Just days ago, the press and the pundits have declared this candidacy dead. Now, thanks to all of you, the heart of the Democratic Party, we just won and we've won big because of you. Biden's commanding victory coming in large part from overwhelming support from black voters. The state Democratic Party chair citing the former vice president's decades-long to ties to South Carolina. Is that the Democrats and uh, suburban white voters and African Americans in our state voted pragmatically and strategically with their head. By the time Biden had claimed victory, his opponents had already shifted their efforts to Super Tuesday states. Senator Bernie Sanders finished second in South Carolina while packing crowds in Massachusetts and Virginia. There are a lot of states in this country. Nobody wins them all. I want to congratulate Joe Biden on his victory tonight. And now we enter Super Tuesday in Virginia. And other down-ballot candidates leaving the Palmetto State still hopeful they can find momentum before it's too late. We are going to stun the world. We are going to be going into the Super Tuesday states of a state like Colorado or a state like Virginia strong. But not every campaign is moving on to Super Tuesday. Billionaire businessman Tom Steyer had his strongest finish yet in South Carolina, but ended his campaign Saturday night. By Tuesday, 40% of the delegates in this race will have been awarded. Biden is now up there with Senator Bernie Sanders in the current delegate rankings, but Sanders is leading in several key Super Tuesday states. Trevor All, ABC News, Columbia, South Carolina.